Hello and welcome. I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. We begin in South Africa where a judge has sentenced uh, all, uh, Olympic sprinter Oscar Pistorius to five years in prison for fatally shooting his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. Now, the sentence marks the end of a trial that gripped South Africa and millions around the world. Judge Tokosile Masipa announced her verdict Tuesday in Pretoria. The following is what I consider to be a sentence that is fair and just both to society and to the accused. Count one, culpable homicide. The sentence imposed is the maximum imprisonment of five years imposed in terms of section 276 one I of the Criminal Procedure Act, number 51 of 1977. Two, on count two, the contravention of section 120, subsection 3B of the Firearms Control Act, number 60 of 2000. The sentence imposes three years imprisonment, wholly suspended, for five years on condition that within the period of suspension, the accused is not found guilty of a crime where there is negligence involving the use of a firearm. Paragraph three, the sentence in count one and the sentence on count three shall run concurrently. Well, following the verdicts, many South Africans who gathered outside the Pretoria courthouse reacted with disappointment over the length of the prison term. Uh, Judge Masipa was too lenient towards this case because if you see the, if you check the, the, the case as a whole, most people we were expecting at least 10 years to 15 years because uh, the, the case, the, the, the murder that he has committed was too severe. And I, I think even the, the family members, they are not satisfied with, with, the, with the sentence when they, they, they look at it. They are not satisfied at all. Well, for more in insight on the verdict, uh, viewers, Anita Powell joins us live via Skype from Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, good evening, Anita. And tell us more about the reactions around Pretoria and Johannesburg and uh, across the country, indeed. Sure. You know, that gentleman who just spoke to us, uh, I thought he made a really interesting point that really highlights how South Africans feel about this. Many South Africans are not really separating two issues, the verdict and the sentence. That man said, for example, he should have gotten more for murder. He wasn't convicted of murder. He was convicted of culpable homicide, which is like manslaughter. So I think a lot of the objections that we're hearing really come from objections to the verdict and then associated objections to the fact that, that they feel that maybe the sentence wasn't harsh enough because they believe it was murder. A lot of South Africans think this was murder. Therefore, five years doesn't seem like a lot. Now, what have been the reactions from both families, the Reeve Camp, uh, uh, the Steenkamp family and the Pistorius family? Well, let's start with the Steenkamp family. They were asked, uh, June Steenkamp, Reeve's mother, was asked if she thought that justice was done. Now, clearly she was quite distraught and she said yes. And her, the family lawyers said that they felt that justice was done. And that's really all they've said. The Pistorius family said he welcomes this chance to pay back his debt to society and that they don't intend to appeal. Uh, so, so that's what we're hearing from both families. Now let's take away the legal jargon here. Uh, how will the five years be served? So South African law says that if you're sentenced to X number of years, you must serve one sixth of that time before you can apply for parole, which would be with, of course, conditions like house arrest or some such. For Oscar Pistorius, that's five years, 60 months, that's 10 months. So he could, if he behaves, and if um, the Department of Corrections agrees with his petition, in 10 months, he could be back home living under, under certain conditions, but he could be out of prison in 10 months. Wow, and in those 10 months, can he go back and uh, make a comeback in sports? Well, not if you listen to the International Paralympic Committee, which says 
that they respect the five-year sentence. So basically what they're saying is that even if he behaves well and he gets out in 10 months, he cannot compete for the full five years. So in a weird way, that's that's actually possibly more damning for his future than than this, this jail sentence, because he really can't compete until he's 32 years old. Anita, thanks for putting things in perspective there. Well, viewers, Anita Powell joined us live via Skype from Johannesburg.